All right, friends, we're going to do um, 5.6. And so this is graphing linear inequality. So I'm glad that we practiced on um, graphing um, doing slope intercept. So we are going to practice um, graphing, but when you do inequality, so you're going to need some colored pencils um, in order to be able to do this because we get to shade actually. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is checking for solutions. Okay, so we're going to, what you're going to do here is you have X and Y and you're going to plug X into X and Y into Y. So here's X plus nine. Oh man, inequalities, whoa, inequalities. That means we have greater than, um, less than signs. And you know what? I don't want to tell you this way is less than or greater than, but I do want you to know that, look at, then this one has a line under it. This one, okay, I always, I even draw these on Bryson's paper. So the alligator always eats the hungrier of the, okay, or the bigger of the number, okay? And we're gonna remember that gray ter are all numbers to the right, where less are all numbers to the left greater to the right, less to the left, okay? So let's see if this statement is true. Two times negative one is negative two plus nine is less than three. Negative two plus nine is seven, is seven less than three? Uh, negatory, that would be a no, that is not a solution. Okay, that does not work. Let's try this one. Let me... I don't think I can increase my, my size here. Um, two minus three, oops, sorry, I didn't label, times a negative two is greater than or equal to eight. Two, so negative three times a negative two is six. It's greater than eight. Is eight greater than or equal to eight? Well, it's equal to, so that would be a yes. And I spelled yes with two S's because I can. Yeah, yes! All right. So here we go. I want you to stop um, after each one and um, check your work. So we're gonna whip through these really quick. Are you ready? X, Y, negative two plus two is greater than zero. Is zero greater than zero? No, it's equal to. Uh, four times zero minus zero is greater than five. Is zero greater than five? No! Um, let's see. X, Y, five times the negative four minus two times negative one is less than or equal to negative one. Negative 20 plus two is less than negative one. It is negative 18 less than negative one? Yes! And negative two times five minus three times negative seven is less than, because that's the small n. So negative 10 plus 21 is less than 15. Let's see, 21, that'd be 11 is less than 15. Is that true? Yes, it is. So friends, here we go. We're actually going to graph this. So we've been practicing graphing. So we are going to, the first thing we're going to do is I want you to think about this as just this equation, okay? So I want you to think about this as just y is equal to 2x. So I'm going to put a 0, 0 down here, okay? Um, because, I'm sorry, I am jumping way ahead of myself. First of all, so I'm going to write down my favorite y is equal to mx plus d, because this is in slope, where this is the slope, and this is the y-intercept, okay? So let's see, here's my slope, where's my y-intercept? Oh, it's zero. That's why I put a dot at zero, I'm sorry, I got away with it. All right, here we go, up to 
over one, right? Okay, now I might go up again, the same. Okay, now before you graph this, are you ready? Okay, two things on the top. If you are greater than or less than, we're gonna make that line a dotted line, okay? If we are, I should have made that a dotted line, right? If you are less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it is a solid line. Okay, so first of all, let's see. Dotted or solid? I am dotted. All right, here we go. Oh, poop. What did I do? I just told you I dotted and then I... <sighs> so you know what? If you do that, because you get Rami, just write dotted. I'm good with that. All right, now here's the next question. Because it's an inequality, it is a set of points. It's not just one group of points, it's a set of points. So we need to test which side I need to shade. Do I shade above or do I shade below? So one of my points that I'm going to use, my test point, is zero, zero, if I can, okay? Okay, because I need to test one side or the other. Well, this isn't gonna work because zero, zero is right on the line. So bummer, bummer on that one. You know what, why don't we test this point right here? What's that point? Two, zero. So I'm gonna put an X here. I'm gonna write two, zero. So here's my X and here's my Y. Now you're gonna do the same thing we did on the, on the front. So here's my equation. I'm gonna plug a zero in for Y and a two in for X. Is zero less than four? If your answer is yes, then you have to shade the side that's yes, okay? So this means you can pick any point in this area and it will make that statement true, okay? So there's a lot of things going on. Not only do you have to graph it right, but you also need to make sure you get dotted versus solid. You also need to make sure and you're doing your test point. So I wonder if I tested and this did not make it true and I write no. Well then I know that I can't shade this side. I have to shade the other side. So that's the nice thing. You don't have to do it twice. All right, friends, this is in standard form. Okay, we could do the XY cover up method if we want. You could also solve for Y and do slope if you want. So I'm gonna do the XY cover up method. And remember, I am also going to think about this with just an equal sign to, to graph. So let's see. Well, it looks like, ooh, negative X equals two divided by a negative one. X is a negative two. Okay, one, two. That's my x-intercept. All right, let's check out the y. 2y equals 2 divided by 2. y equals 1. All right, next step. Okay, next step, I'm going to check. Am I dotted or solid? Well, I'm no equal to, so I must be dotted. Let's see if I can remember this now, right? There we go, there's a nice dotted line. Now what's interesting is on that dotted line, any of the points on that dotted line are not solutions to that equation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna write my inequality. Okay, now here's where I can use my test point of zero, zero. So I'm gonna make a, make a dot at zero, zero. That's what I'm testing, okay? Is this side going to be the side I fill in? So here we go. You ready? So zero plus two times zero is greater than two. So this is zero is greater than two. Is that true? Mm, that would be a no. Ooh, so I can't shade the no side. I have to shade the opposite side. Okay, 
Now, if you wanted convincing that this side is the side that you want, all you'd have to do is pick out a point in here and test it. Let's give it a try. Let's see. What would you like? How about this point right here? So this would be zero and one, two, three, four, zero, four. All right, well, let's plug it in and see what we get. Okay, so negative zero plus two times four is greater than two. So is eight greater than two? Yes. Okay, now on the Ed Puzzle, I'm gonna have you pick out another point and put it into the Ed Puzzle. Okay? All righty. And of course, the last piece is looking at some story problems. Um, and we're going to go over that um, together in class um, where it would be a little bit easier to, to understand. Um, I can also, because this kind of just goes through the problem. So we're going to wait and we're going to go through this. Um, it's the same, very similar to what we've been doing with systems. Um, and eventually we're going to get to actually graphing in systems and seeing where the two things shade over top. Okay, um, I will tell you this. So it says you can spend at most $10 on grapes and apples for a fruit salad. So I have grapes plus apples. Okay, and at most, so I have to be less than or equal to 10 bucks. And I'm, see, $2.50 a pound and apples are a dollar a pound. So there's my two equation. This is my equation, okay? So when we think about the intercepts, okay, let's see. Here we go. A is 10. Mm. G, let's see. 2.5 G is equal to 10 divided by 2.5, and G is... Now, friends, see this? G is 4 is right there. Okay. A is 10 is right there. Okay. Nice, solid line all the way down. Okay. And then the big question is, do I, okay, so here's my line. Do I shade underneath at zero, zero? So if I plug in zero for this and zero for this, I get zero is less than 10. Is that true? Well, yes, yes it is. So that's why I've shaded this. Now look at, how come I've only graphed this and I'm not graphing a huge graph? Well, it's a real life problem. That means that any combination in here in the shaded region is going to make this true. Anything outside of it does not work. All right, so now think of all the different combinations um, that you can come up with beyond what this is right here. You come up with something different, okay? So give me an answer that's something different. All right, friends, thanks a lot.